the 11 car, Denny Hamlin, he would lead it into the restart. But, um, and then you went 10 laps before question number 5 would come out. And this was at, actually, there were six questions all together. Six, uh, the sixth question uh, set the race into OT. But question five, lap 66, uh, Casey Kane's car is smoking. He heads to the garage. And then, um, okay, and then uh, the green flag comes out. And then question number six comes out, lap uh, 73. A multi vehicular uh, incident. Carl Edwards, the 19 car, starts spinning, and other cars got collected. The 18, the 43, and the 13 were, were amongst the mix. Uh, Kyle Bush, Eric Amarola, Casey Mirrors. And the restart from uh, question six would be a overtime restart. Um, and here's okay, here here it is. So th there's a line, and it's past uh, turn two. Okay, and uh, the overtime line uh, now. So the flag. Okay, so this is where it's it a little confusing. The restart area. Okay, that we all established. Okay. Uh, the two lines before the start finish line, right? That's where they want you to start hitting the gas. Car in the lead, uh, they get to choose the first or the second line, and then and uh, the rest of the cars got to wait till he passes the area before they hit the gas. So you got the restart area, okay? Uh, and then, okay, that's the restart. And then they cross the start finish line. That makes the official green flag technically, right? Okay, so now with overtime which is also known as the green white checker <laughs> there's an overtime line and at Daytona it's in the middle of the back stretch now the, the OT line they say is going to be at different areas of the tr depending on what track they're at but at Daytona this OT line is in the middle of the back stretch so they cross the line at the start finish this is for the green white checker so they're going to cross the start finish line okay the flag's there, the green flag's waving, they cross the line. Now, it will not be considered an official restart, or what they're calling a successful restart, until the lead car crosses the overtime line. Okay? They have to cross the overtime line without any other crashes. So, okay. Um, so basically, okay, after taking the green flag, the leader must pass the overtime line to be considered a clear restart, crossing the line without another question coming out. If a question does come out before the lead car crosses the OT line, then there will be another green-white checkered attempt. Now here it is. They will continue to do green-white checkered attempts until a leader successfully crosses the OT line. Now, they didn't mention any limits, okay? Because remember, uh, the, the Super C B-Ways, they told on Taldega, they were going to limit the green-white checkers, remember, after that incident with Austin Dillon on uh, July 5th. And so, uh, July 4th, actually. Um, so, they're going to keep doing the green-white checker attempt until the lead car crosses the OT line without any questions coming out. So if a question does come out after the leader successfully crosses the OT line, the vehicles will then be scored under caution as the cars cross the start finish line. So there you go. <laughs> yes. Um, so anyway, the winner of Saturday's race was Denny Hamlin. Joey Logano comes in second and uh, Paul Menard comes in third and then Denny Hamlin at three time uh, Sprint Unlimited winner uh so and the crazy part was is that logano actually crossed the ot line and then uh denny hamlin scooted in front of him and he took the checkered so there you go but it was uh 75 laps and of course now uh friday of course you got trucks so friday real racing or well, racing racing the official racing or what do you want to call it uh the normal racing schedule continue uh begins really friday with the trucks xfinity on saturday and then uh, sprint cup kicks off on sunday so this weekend ladies and gentlemen the action heads to daytona beach florida where it's nice and sunny to the daytona international speedway located at 1801 west international boulevard's 
uh, International Speedway Boulevard, Daytona, Florida, 32114. Capacity, 101,000. Although, I don't know what it is after the renovation, so uh, I'll put a question mark on there. Surface is ash float, length 2.5 miles, number of turns is 4. Bankings at the corners is 31 degrees. The uh, tri-oval area is 18 degrees. Back stretch is 2 degrees. Lap record 40.364 seconds. Colin Braun, uh, Michael Shank Racing, 2013. Rochiates Ford EcoBoost 3.5 liter GDI uh, V6 Daytona prototype. Uh, there's also a 3.56 mile sports car course, a 2.95 mile motorcycle course, a quarter mile dirt flat track, a uh, four tenth mile short oval, and of course Lake Lloyd. Uh, can't forget about Lake Lloyd. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is it. Uh, time for the very first racing podcast proudly presents. This weekend's racing schedule. Yes. But first, Thursday night, tonight, okay? So, and that's the, tonight, Thursday night, 7 p.m., Fox Sports 1 and MRN. It's the can Duel at Daytona 1 and 2 at 7 o'clock. And, it, and they're both with 60 laps each. So, that'll be very fun to watch. And then this Friday is the first NASCAR uh, Camping World Truck Series event. Friday night, February 19th at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time on Fox Sports 1 and MRN. It's the Next Star Energy Resources 250. And that is with 100 laps scheduled. Then on Saturday is the first NASCAR Xfinity Series event. Saturday, February 20th at 3.30 p.m. Fox Sports 1 and MRN, and it's the Power Shares QQQ300, 120 laps scheduled. And then on Sunday, the first Sprint Cup Series event, the Great American Race, Sunday, February 21st at 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time on Fox, the Big Fox, and on MRN, and it's the Daytona 500, 200 laps scheduled so there you go stick around rp continues all right welcome back so here's a review of the driver standings from the end of the last season okay for a little fun, and we're going to just uh, breeze through here. Top 10 NASCAR Spread Cup Series driver standings from uh, 2015, and this is after the last race at uh, Homestead. Okay. First place was Kyle Busch, and uh, he ended the season with uh, 5,043 points. Uh, Kevin Harvick came in second place, 5,042 points. Jeff Gordon third. Uh, Martin Truex Jr. fourth. Carl Edwards in 5th place, Joey Logano in 6th, Brad Keselowski 7th, Kurt Busch ended in 8th place, Denny Hamlin in ninth, and uh, Jimmy Johnson in uh, 11th. Excuse me, uh, Jimmy Johnson in 10th, excuse me. Um, 11th place was actually Ryan Newman, and then uh, it's Dale Jr., Jane McWary, Paul Menard, and Matt Kenseth from 12th to 15th place. Uh, from 16th to 20th, it's Clint Boyer, Eric uh, Almorola, Casey Kane, Kyle Larson, Greg Bevel. 21st to 25th, Austin Dillon, A.J. Almondega, Casey Mears, Danica Patrick, and Ricky Stenhouse Jr. in 25th place. Manufacturer standings, uh, Chevrolet ended the season in first place with 1,584 points. Toyota in second with 1,516, and Ford in third, 1,498. And as for the NASCAR uh, Xfinity Series, okay, uh, Chris Boscia uh, ended the season in first place, of course the title winner in the number 60 car, Chase Elliott in second, Ty Dillon in third, fourth is Reagan Smith, fifth Daniel Suarez, uh, sixth uh, uh, Elliott Sadler in sixth place, Darrell Wallace Jr. Uh, finished in seventh place, Brian Scott in eighth. 
uh, Brendan Gowen in ninth, and then Ryan Reed in tenth place, 902 points. 11th to 15th place in order, it's uh, Ryan Siege, JJ Yelly, Dakota Armstrong, Jeremy Clements, and Ross Chastain. Uh, 16th to 20th is David Starr, Blake Koch, uh, Landon Castle, uh, Eric McClure, and Kale Conley. 21st to 25th place in order, Joey Gase, Ryan Blaney, Brennan Poole, Harrison Rhodes, and Mike Harmon. Manufacturer standings for Xfinity Series from 2015. Uh, Chevrolet finished in first place, 1,434 points. Ford is in, uh, Ford in second place, 1,430. Toyota in third, 1,413. And uh, Dodge is fourth with 409. And for the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series driver standings from 2015, uh, Eric Jones finished in first place, the number four truck title winner, 899 points. Second place is uh, Tyler Reddick. Matt Crafton finished in third. Johnny Sauter in fourth. Timothy Peters in fifth. Cameron Haley in sixth. Daniel Hamrick in seventh. Uh, John West Townley in eighth. Uh, ben Kennedy in ninth. And Spencer Gallagher in the 23 car finished in 10th place. 11th to uh, 15th place in order is Ray Black Jr., John Hunter Nemechek, Tyler Young, uh, Mason Mingus, Brandon Jones. 16th to 20th, Travis Cavapo, uh, Jennifer Jungle Cup, Corbin Forrester, Jordan Anderson, and Norm Bennings. And then 21st to 25th, uh, Matt Tift, Cole Custer, Timmy Hill, Austin Terriart, and Justin Boston. Manufacturer standings uh, for Camping World Trucks for 2015. Toyota finished the season in first place with 1,049 points. Second place, Chevrolet, 973. Ford in third place with 944. Ram in fourth with 26. 26. Hey, all right. So, let's get to it. Final stretch segment. We've got a whole bunch of racing news to go over, and we'll recap the schedule. The final stretch segment is next. RP continued. So, uh, some moves have been made uh, in the 2015 off season. So, here is what to look for in 2016. Drivers moving uh, to new teams for 2016. Brian Scott replaces Sam Hornish Jr. in the, the number nine car, becoming the third driver uh, in the nine car in the last three seasons. 2013, Marcos Ambrose was behind the wheel. Uh, and then Sam Hornish Jr. Was, took over in 2014. Clint Boyer, driver of the 15 car, formerly from Michael Waltrip Racing, uh, will be driving for H. Scott Racing uh, in 2016. Boya will still be sporting the 15 machine. And a uh, brother of uh, Earnhardt Jr., Jeffrey Earnhardt, coming to NASCAR's Premier Series in the 32 car. So keep the look, look out for the 3-2. And uh, Chris Bosha also making his Sprint Cup debut in the 34 car. And, of course, the big one, Chase Elliott in the 24 car, taking over for Jeff Gordon. Driver team is making some crew chief changes for 2016. Uh, the number 17 will have owner Tommy Baldwin Jr. will be the, the crew chief for the number 7 car, driven by Alex Bowen. Chris Heroy uh, is going to be joining the number 19. Danica Patrick, the number 10 team, hiring Billy Scott, replacing Daniel Nose. Uh, Mike Wheeler takes over for the 11 team with uh, Denny Hamlin behind the wheel. Mike Wheeler has worked as Denny Hamlin's crew chief in the uh, Xfinity Series. Mike Bogowitz replaces Chad Johnston in the number 14 team, driven by Tony Smoke Stewart. Uh, Chad Johnston will be working with the 42 car. Okay, driven by Kyle Larson. Uh, Greg Biffle is the 16 team, gets Brian Patty. Dave Rogers takes over for the number 19 team. Uh, and Randall Burnett takes over for the number 47. And uh, some sponsors, old and new. Uh, one big sponsor changed the number 4 car, Kevin Harvick. Uh, sponsor Budweiser is leaving. However, Kevin Harvick's new sponsor will be Bush Beer. Bush Beer. Remember the commercial? <laughs> the Bush Beer commercials? <laughs> um, Kate, 
Casey Kane, uh, John of them, but five car. Quick and Loans will be sponsored for.